Hello and welcome to another tutorial video here from Zenonautic Consulting. My name is Tyler Colt, and in this video, we're going to be walking through a quick overview of Zoho Meetings. This video is actually an excerpt of a full webinar that we did on calendar meetings and bookings. So consider checking that out once you're done with this video. Before we jump in, I do want to ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below because that really does help us out. And if you have any feedback or questions, drop those in the comments section below as well as we try to read and respond to each and every one of those on our weekly show Azaz. Uh, thanks again for checking this video out and uh, we hope you enjoy. Alrighty, and here we are inside a Zoho meeting. Um, as you'd expect, pretty simple application, right? Not a huge amount of settings, uh, customization, and craziness here. Right out of the homepage, right? If you wanted to just go ahead and start or schedule either a meeting or a webinar, you can do that. You know, I actually do this all the time with Zoom. You know, I just spin one up, invite someone to it, you know, off to the races. So good to have this kind of quick launch capability where it doesn't always have to be on the calendar for it to show up. Under the left-hand bar here is kind of the top level of our settings. Um, we'll see that here we've got our meetings that are upcoming or in the past. Um, so we'll actually see that because I set up that example meeting here inside of Zoho Calendar, that immediately shows up here on the Zoho meeting side, right? So we actually didn't really cut anything between then and now. That was just the natural walkthrough and it's already showing up on this side. Um, so I know some people like this, right? So, you know, throughout their day, they'll have this up. They can go ahead and just start all their meetings from right here, right? Not having to dig through the calendar. And so just depending on preference, right? I would probably still use calendar and start it from here. Other people like a list view, so you've got that as well. Other than that, again, just a couple quick buttons to schedule or spin up meetings off the cuff so that you're able to just do that more easily. Webinars, similar story, right? We don't have any of those scheduled here. If I wanted to go ahead and schedule one, it's going to be what you expect, right? The name, the organizers, registration, um, you know, if you're going to do any marketing or engagement for this, anybody that you want to invite right out of the gates. So pretty standard kind of stuff there around setting up a webinar. Um, Zoho recently actually updated the uh, attendee maximum to 5,000. So if you're hosting really big events, you very well might be able to do that here via Zoho webinar. Just understand sometimes that AV quality is not going to be, you know, top, top, top shelf, but it should be stable enough for you to get through your session. And again, all of this included with Zoho One, right? So a lot of the times these come down to kind of the cost benefit. Can you pay a lot of money and get a better webinar tool than Zoho Meeting? Yeah, probably. But this is included, right? And so if you do one, two webinars a year, it's not really the main thing that you're doing all the time. Strongly consider trying one out in here just because I, we know from experience, webinar software can cost in and of itself thousands and thousands of dollars a year. So the fact that all of this is included, pretty nice benefit there if you do webinars for your marketing. And moving on to the calendar here inside of Zoho Meeting, you'll find, surprise, surprise, it looks a whole lot like this calendar, pretty much just because it's an embed. It's going to show any of those meetings that you have on a calendar view. Again, you have that ability to click and drag to schedule new ones. As you would expect, right, if you schedule it in Zoho Calendar, it will show up in Zoho Meeting. If you schedule it in Zoho Meeting, it will show up back in Zoho Calendar. No big surprise there, but those two are just going to be in sync natively. Files is actually kind of nice. You can upload files and have them ready to go as a component of a meeting or a webinar. I actually kind of like this, right? So if you had maybe a presentation slides, um, some type of white paper that might be relevant for what you're talking about, you can actually just preload those and associate them in with meetings that are upcoming. It just makes it easier to share those out with the uh, attendees of a meeting or webinar so that they've got access there on the fly. Last but not least, quick overview of analytics. Obviously nothing too crazy here, but it does give you an idea of how many sessions are happening per day. What's the duration of those sessions? What does the history of all of those sessions look like? Just so that you're able to kind of peek in and see you know, which users are hosting lots of meetings, which ones aren't, and make sure that that makes sense, right? If you had a sales team and one of them was doing 30 meetings a week, one of them is doing five, right? There's probably an issue with lead flow, you know, appointment setting, something's going on there. So being able to just have some quickly filterable top level analytics uh, never hurts. Next here, users. Again, this is always uh, one of those things. If you're on Zoho One, you're just going to add users there. They're going to show up here because I'm on Zoho One. When I click that, right, it's going to move me over here anyways. 
we actually have a full tutorial walkthrough on this Zoho One admin panel. We'll toss a link to that in the description below. But if you do need to add them individually, it will just be right through this users tab. Pretty simple, right? You're going to add their name, email, departments, if they should have access to meetings or webinars. It's kind of nice that Zoho carves this out. Not everybody who needs to host a meeting needs to be able to host a webinar and invite 5,000 people to join, right? Those are really, really different. So oftentimes we're going to want to carve that out and provide people selective access to each of those functionalities. So on the tail end here, I've opened up the settings tab. Uh, don't click off the video. We're not going to go through every single one of these. We're just going to cover a small handful of them. Alrighty, so starting up here, we do want to cover a couple of these little personal settings. Again, always just important to set up time zone, time format, all that good stuff, just to make sure that it's how you like it. One option here, use original audio. So Zoho Meeting, similar to most meeting tools, is going to try to pre-process audio on the way in, kind of clean it up a little bit. If you do all of that in-house, you very well might want to check this box. So like if I was using this, I would probably do that because... Freddie, our illustrious producer, gives me all different types of tools to uh, make the audio sound good on our content. A couple other options, just as we fly down again, I promised you we were not going to go through all of these. Uh, sound notification when people join. I like that personally. Just a little ding when someone jumps in, make sure you can welcome them to the call. Just a couple little features there kind of across the board. Screen share format is nice. So obviously most of the time you're going to want to do JPEG there couple other options here that are important if you are doing webinars. So we're now kind of into the webinar settings. I like to make sure that people have to provide their names to ask questions or otherwise you will get lots and lots of spam and junk just to make it slightly harder, right, for a spammer to start asking those questions. One nice thing here I do like to highlight is that you can actually broadcast from Zoho webinar directly out to YouTube. Obviously, you can do that on lots of tools, but it is kind of a nice shiny thing here. If you're doing a webinar, honestly, even if you have invited a list and that list is going to join directly to Zoho webinar, there's not much downside to live streaming on YouTube as well. Second biggest search engine, you might as well get your content out there if you're going to do it. A couple recording settings here. So auto record meetings is kind of a nice one. You can actually have it just automatically record anytime that somebody jumps in and you start that meeting. If you're doing a lot of like working calls with clients, we do this internally. We actually record all of our meetings with our clients. Super nice to have. So then you can present those to them. They have this whole log of everything that's ever been discussed. You know, just a nice feature to have running in the background couple things in organization I want to cover. So you can, in fact, set up your own org name. So maybe I want to make my company name. It's not a company name. Add our own logo here, of course, right? Just being able to kind of brand things a little bit more cleanly. And then the rest of these, a lot of these uh, organization settings are actually going to be really similar to what we covered above under general meeting and webinar. You're essentially just setting them as the default for the entirety of the organization. So this is just across the board. You're saying, hey, everybody's meetings should be recorded by default rather than just saying, I want my meetings to be recorded by default. So again, we're not going to labor through each and every one of those. Pretty much the same thing we covered up here under the my settings, just again, via that other location. Users, we just covered there. Email integrations. So there's always a good idea to just set up validated email addresses here on the back end of Zoho Meeting. This is where if you want to have a specific reply to. So it's going to send the invite from, you know, notifications at uh, ZohoMeetings.com. Maybe I want the reply to you to come back to support at Zanata. I can go ahead and set that up right here. And then last but not least, this will kind of dovetail nicely. You know, again, we'll circle back on this, but we do have kind of a wide range of integrations available for Zoho Meeting, obviously across many different Zoho apps, as well as things like Gmail, Outlook, Teams, right? A couple non-Zoho applications where you might want meetings to click in. 